Hi Cancer, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for February 5th through February 11th. Um, now this is intended to be a love reading. We'll see what comes up. This may not resonate with you because it's not for every single person. If you are in a happily ever after type of relationship, I would say that this reading is probably not for you. Generally, people that come to watch these kinds of tarot readings are struggling in some way, okay? So just take what resonates and leave the rest. And I want to thank all of you that didn't beg for the reading. I really, really, really appreciate that. Some did, unfortunately. Ooh, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Beautiful. There could be some kind of reconciliation this week. Oh, damn it. Well, we got two, and when two fall out, I have to use them. So we're going to use them both. The first one is denial. I acknowledge my fear but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Now, what I have to tell you, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership denial. Don't be pointing a finger at your partner. Okay, that's what that card tells me. Patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Patience, okay? Many of you are involved in a relationship that has a lot of potential, okay? It does. You just have to be patient. You really have to work on it. There's divine, and it's funny because before I started this, I almost said divinely guided. I should have just said it. Damn it. Anyway, there is some kind of divine guidance here. But it feels like the, de de the denial is within yourself. So don't be pointing the finger at your partner, okay? I told you that for a reason. To give your relationship a chance, you need to own up to something within yourself, okay? You need to become aware of your actions in some way, okay? Oh, so there's an unexpected choice in love. Now, this typically comes out when you have somebody new come into your life. Okay, usually this is a card of decisions and choices. Okay, this is the lover's card. When it comes out, it's usually somebody new, okay, that isn't a usual type. And now you're forced with a decision between two people. Typically, that's what this card means. This is also a card of consequences, all right? Be prepared to live with the consequences of your decision. Um, there could be definitely a third party situation here and you have to make a decision between two because we have two and it goes to three and this is that's a good chance here where you have to make a choice between two people. This is telling me that many of you aren't prepared to make this choice yet. You're not quite sure what you want to do. Here I see that there's a need to complete a cycle. This is the death card reversed. There's a need to complete something. There's a need to release or to start something new. But you're still contemplating, all right? You're not quite prepared for this, this new start yet. You may be feeling um, very stubborn at this point. Maybe you're feeling very hot-headed. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, you could be dealing with a Scorpio as well. Maybe you have, or a Gemini. I think that you guys have a choice between two people either way. And you just don't know what to do. Um, I feel like... You know, definitely there's consequences here. These are both pretty big consequence cards. So you, there's consequences of your choice. I think one of them <coughs> is more stable and secure financially. And the other is probably more about your heart and love. So this is a big decision for you. There's definitely a third party situation for many of you. You're looking for something more. Um, Maybe there's a lack of passion in one arena, one direction, okay? I think there's two directions. Which which way are you going to go? 
one of them there's a lack of passion there's a lack of excitement there's a lack of growth you may be dealing with somebody who is pretty self-centered and you just you're not sure what to do um, there's an observation here you could be observing somebody somebody could be observing you either way there's a feeling of mentally restless energy because you know you have to make this decision there is a decision here and you don't know what to do and I think the decision is is love versus security and, and in one arena you're not feeling loved one arena there's no romance it's like you don't feel the romance there so you're just like oh shit you know what do I do I'm secure here but there's not a lot of passion there's not a lot of love but there's security okay so I, I just feel like you're looking for something more you're looking for romance and wherever you're at right now there's there's not a lot of romance so you might be looking elsewhere okay you might be looking outside of your current relationship um, yeah you may be you may be feeling like I need more things are out of balance right now I'm not being fulfilled and that's I think that many of you are faking it you're faking that you're fulfilled but you're not feeling fulfilled and it's time for you to bring, come back to reality here okay you can't deny the truth you can't and when this says give your relationship a chance you have it I think many of you have a choice between two people and and the thing is is which one do you want to make which one do you really want to be in a partnership with I see consequences here cons consequences uh, regarding the decision that you need to make that you aren't quite prepared to make because you're in denial it's like shit that's what I see you're in denial it's like <clears throat> You may be overindulging with alcohol, drugs, food, spending, or whatever, just pretending that everything's okay, when the fact of the matter is everything is not okay. And that's why this said, give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. That's why this card came up, is because the partnership will only survive when you make the right choice, I, and you're in denial right now. That's why this card came up. You're in denial. It's not, you guys have been patient. You've been patient and you've been waiting for something to happen, but it's not happening. And you have to make a decision. That's why this card came up is because it's decision making time for some of you. For some of you, there's a reconciliation in a current relationship. But, you know, we have all these reversals here. So the Scorpio's reversed, this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn's reversed, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is reversed. We have Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces reversed. And I mean, there, there's a lot of reversals here. So the, there's the absent of. There's the absence of love. There's the absence of romance. There's an absence of excitement. There's an absence of passion in one arena. And now you're being called to give your ultimate relationship a chance. Which one do you want? That's the question. And you do have to make a decision. And I think it's between two people. Okay? That's what I think. So for many of you, you're like, oh, I don't know what to do. You're just living in this period of denial right now because you're not really ready to, for to you're not really prepared because it's a lack of preparation. You're not really prepared for this new start yet because, I don't know why, let's find out. You really want love, huh? But you don't want to go through heartache. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, so you're looking for the ultimate love. That's what you want. You're looking for this love that is out of this world. And you really don't want to go through any heartache. You don't want to go through any pain and suffering. So that's why you aren't really prepared. You're not really prepared because you don't want this. You don't, you're just living in this state of denial because you don't want to... You don't want any chaos. You don't, you want to pretend. It's like, I'm just going to pretend here because it's easier. But the thing is, is that you're, you're going to have to stand up for yourself. You're going to have to have self-respect. Okay. There's success in your future in love. All right. There is. But whatever has happened has brought you some true growth, believe it or not. I feel like you have a new, a new lover. I do. I don't think it's who, and unfortunately, I'm sorry to tell you this, 
usually this card comes out when you're in a commitment of some sort. You have a contract with somebody because this is a sign of a contract. You have a contract with somebody, but somebody comes in and changes the contract, and now you have to make a decision. It's a soulmate. You have a soulmate connection here. That's what I see. And now you can't, you can't deny it. Um, I think it's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I really do. I do. And it is probably a Taurus, okay? A Taurus is coming out a lot. But anyway, I think that you have a soulmate connection here, but you are, you are in some kind of commitment with somebody else, and you can't release it right yet because you don't want to face the truth. You're living in a period of denial, and you've been patient trying to work on this relationship with whoever you're with, but no matter how patient you've been and how much of a chance you've given it, there's no passion, there's lack of excitement, it's not true love, and you're looking for true love, and I think that's the problem. So... I don't think I need any more cards, really. I really don't. I just, I, I feel like many of you, is decision-making time. It really is. It's time to make a decision. You have a soulmate connection with somebody, but you're in a contract with somebody else, and it's going to hurt to break it. And you're being called to follow your inner guide, but you're denying your inner guide. Your inner guide is telling you something. Your divine guide is telling you something and you're living in denial because you don't want to go through your, or you don't want to put anybody through heartache. But the fact of the matter is, is that you're looking for true love and I feel like many of you aren't feeling it as of yet. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Trust the divine Give the relationship a chance that aligns with your heart because you can't live in denial anymore. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight and awareness. This is the ultimate denial reverse, the Hierophant. It's reversed. You're, you're airy completely in denial. Your heart is looking for true love. Okay? It is. With a soulmate. Alright? It is. And right now, you're not happy. Because I feel like you have to make a decision between two people. So, Cancer, there's your reading. I, 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 <coughs> I'm sorry. I see that you need to follow your heart. Stop living in denial. There's lack of passion. There's lack of growth. Lack of excitement. Wherever you're at now. Your heart and mind is on one person. But you don't want to hurt somebody else. That's what I see. And your inner guide, your divine guide, is telling you to do something and you're denying it. There's potential for a soulmate connection here, and I think it's with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But you have to let something end first. And if you're not with somebody, you could be still thinking about somebody. And there could be a new love that's in your life. And this person wants to offer you happiness. And you're not letting them because you're still hung up on the past. Whatever the case is, it's time to move forward and follow your heart. Because I see that there's a soulmate here. Talk to you later.